it's Olga here from olgadektareva.com and Productivity for Scientists. This is where you overcome overwhelm, get in charge of your day, become more productive while feeling happier in your life. This is the morning hour here, just after 7, and that's when my family is still in bed, so it's very quiet. And I'm in my temporary office, which is the kitchen right now, and I could see the Venus and then the light of raising sun, uh, and and that's a beautiful view to me. So this is my idea of the ideal time and place, the quietness and the beautiful view and the, the good surrounding for me to get some work done, so just record this video for you. And this is exactly the topic of my uh, today's eating, is finding the time and place for you to focus on your uh, overdue project. That one that's important to you, but for some reason you never got time to work on it and to make any progress. So it might be that it's a research paper that's been waiting to be written for months. And um, that's usually doesn't have a deadline, so it, uh, you tend to procrastinate with it. Or it might be that there, there is a project with a deadline and the, the deadline is already passed or very near. So just the sort of it is daunting and again you're you're putting it off and often you you try to get done all the other little things and think okay once i get them all done i finally work on that project but the thing is you either never done with them because there are so little so many of them and there are always more and more of them on your to-do list, such as answering emails, um, opening posts, and do some administrative stuff, and so on and so on. Or um, when you finally get them all done, you're just too tired to focus on your um, on your project that's important for you, but you just never got around to start doing it. So. Um, Today I want to give you a tip and invite you to become creative in finding this uh, time and space to, to focus on it for an hour because I often say an hour of complete focus on this project is what you need to, um, to make significant progress on it and once you made this significant progress you've uh, built momentum and it motivates you to do more and you uh, you make a progress and even complete it in no time so today we focus on finding um for to help you to find this uh, time and place for you to create this hour of complete focus on your project and I invite you to be creative because it doesn't need to be your office or your working hours because your office, if you're a PhD student, it might be just too crowded and too noisy and I know this, I've never went through that. My office was um, distracting and I now work with PhD students, I see PhD students, it's a huge office, there's a high level of noise. Or during your working hours, you know, maybe your supervisor is expecting you to do something, or is it maybe you're you're higher on on your career ladder, and you have other commitments such as teaching and administrative stuff, and you might be busy, you know, thinking, okay, I catch up with work, you know, a little late, and it's already time to go and pick your children up from nursery or from school. So, it may be that you are not so busy during your working hours, and I have a couple of clients like this, and there's usually postdocs, and they have time, but it's just because they used to 
what they do in the office and they just can't think to break this bad habit or routine of not working on this paper so it's good to look outside this and it could be your your home or the library or anything else i mean it could be a beach if the weather is good you know if it's if you're a type of person that can focus there I mean, it's totally fine so i invite you to to be creative with this and about the time, it doesn't need to be your um, working hours. So um, I've, I've done myself, you know, getting up at 2 o'clock and working, 2 o'clock in the morning and working until 3 o'clock in the morning. It's an hour of complete focus. Or um, at the moment, is this morning hours, like at 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. I know that no one is going to disturb me. And you know that there is such time in your um, your day you know just pick out uh, and dedicate this hour of complete focus what is the complete focus that means that the, the time this hour comes and you're not taking your emails you're not taking facebook you're not taking text messages nothing of that at all you go straight to working on your um, project, on your defined tasks. So it's good to define the task beforehand. And I've shared with you the videos and these ideas before, but just briefly. So you just go straight into working on your project. And within an hour, you make the progress that helps you build momentum and motivate you to do more. So I would recommend to find such a time and a, a place that you can schedule this hour within the whole week. So it's from Monday to Friday or even from Monday to Sunday. And within this week, you might be able to even finish, complete your project depending on the lens or make a significant progress on your project. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. And you've uh, this is your um, assignment for this week is to be creative and look at your week either when you do your weekly summit you know just google weekly summit on my blog and that's a um, weekly planning tool for you and look at your week and think about what you do throughout the day and night <laughs> and find that hour where it's going to be and when it's going to be, schedule it and turn up with your thoughts gathered, with knowing what file you need to open, what program you need to open, and focus on it completely. And in a week's time, after doing this one hour every day, you'll, you'll get your progress. Okay, so I hope that was useful. And... and Listen, share this, uh, your ideas or how it worked for you below in the comments and also share it with your friends or colleagues that, that mentioned that they wanted to write this paper for months but haven't managed to sit down and do this or they want to start writing their thesis and uh, they don't know how to start. That's a, a very good way to start, to share this with them. Okay, that's all for today and have a very good weekend and uh, great and productive week. Okay, bye for now. Bye.